hello welcome to this wonderful video session again i believe you watched the last video where i give intro on how to start a track using the counting of the beat one two three four and as well as dropping the next track on it that means dropping another track in order to ensure that you beat much smoothly in this particular video we are going to be seeing how to start this process using the scratch how do you start using scratches just like the way you saw in the intro of the video and how do you drop another track using scratches and ensure that you still have that perfect Bit matching. We are going to be maintaining the cue points that we used in the earlier video. Then we'll get to see the same thing with the mapping. We we'll maintain the same word cue mapping. Then we'll go back to this very stage now. At this stage, you need to understand the concept of scratches. Don't forget, this counting of beat is very, very important in everything we are going to be doing here. As a DJ, when it comes to scratches, you remember that your crossfaders are going to be moving left, right, center here and be coming to the center on the normal deck. Just the way you have it, you are moving about with it when you scratch. As you are taking it forward, you are moving your hands just the way my hands are moving. So we are going to take this, for example, as our deck. So when you are going to, when you are starting with the baby scratch, you take your hand forward and you bring it backward. You take your hand forward and you bring it backward, which is something like this. You take it like this, you bring it backward. You take it forward, you bring it backward to the starting point again. So in this case, it's usually either on the 9 o'clock, mostly it's advisable to be on the 9 o'clock. Your hand is going to be on the 9 o'clock. When you take it forward, you bring it back to the same 9 o'clock. Then your crossfader is there to chop it either forward or in or out. So based on how you do it. So for you to, path, to do this type of scratches when you are starting the song, this is how you do it. When you allow the deck to move, your hands is going to be moving with it. When it gets to the 12 o'clock position, you bring it backward to the 9. Then you leave it again continuously. That is how you get this type of scratch that I'm, I'm using here on my mapping. Look at it. You play it, you bring it backward. You bring it, you bring it back. In this case, you are just you are going to be perfect doing it very short. When you start the track, you bring it back. Remember, you are using two hands in the other the deck format. So that means when you allow it to play, you use the back spin to bring it back. So this is it. So how do you create this type of freestyle when it comes to scratches like this? This is the secret. Remember, we are always counting beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So with the counting, this is it. You can see. One, two, three, four. You got it? One, two, three, four. If you can follow this drum pattern, try to replicate it here. One, two, three, four. <laughs> You're a joker! So we are actually following it. The reason why we are starting, we are counting it on the four. We want to start it on the first one of the deck that is playing. Then we are going to start this song properly. On the same point that we are starting it's going to be perfect if you are just doing it randomly you are going to have errors at the end of the day look at a simple demonstration i'm going to start this beat then i'm going to do it on the second deck then you get to see it in action one two three four one two three four one two So most of the time, if you don't get it, forget about it. Then when you do it, you might likely have some slight errors, but don't worry, you can use your notch key to move the deck, to move it slightly forward, slightly forward, or slightly backward in order to synchronize with the second deck. So that is how you get to do this. Remember the counting. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So when you get to the fourth one, you try to speed it up. Look at it. I'm going to start it again with this deck. One, two, three, four. So you can see when you speed it up, you get to see. So that is how we do it for this. Let's get to enjoy it once again. Yeah, 
so you can see how the whole thing flows smoothly so catch you in my next video in my next video i'm going to be introducing how you use the same process to chop out a, a track that means you are going to use scratch to end a track that is playing thank you very much once again catch you in my next video Thank you.